Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what clonic seizures are, symptoms of clonic seizures, what to do if someone is having a clonic seizure, and treatments for clonic seizures. A clonic seizure causes the whole body or part of the body to jerk back and forth when one is having a seizure. The word clonic means uncontrollable rhythmic jerking. While having the seizure, the person experiences constant stiffening and relaxing of the muscles. Clonic seizures last a few seconds to a minute on average. Clonic seizures by themselves are rare and are often part of a tonic clonic seizure. There are two types of clonic seizures, generalized onset and focal onset. The most common symptom of a clonic seizure is that the legs and arms jerk quickly and in a rhythm. This can take place on one or both sides of the body. Other common side effects are pupils dilating and contracting, feeling tingling or numbness, loss of bowel or bladder control, and risk of falling. During a focal onset, the person is awake and aware of their environment where a generalized onset causes a person to lose consciousness. A generalized clonic seizure affects both sides of the brain. The seizure will start in the motor area of the brain, resulting in jerky movements on both sides of the body. The person loses consciousness and is not able to communicate. Focal motor clonic seizures start in only one area of the brain. Jerking movements begin in just one part or side of the body. The person experiencing the seizure is conscious and aware of their environment. Clonic seizures can affect people of all ages, but are rare on their own. Infants are more often affected by clonic seizures, but are brief and may go away without intervention. Clonic seizures are more often preceded by tonic seizures, resulting in what is known as a tonic-clonic seizure. People battling epilepsy may experience multiple types of seizures. If you witness someone have a seizure, stay calm. Help the person to the ground and turn them on their side. Place a folded blanket or piece of clothing under their head to avoid injury. If the person falls, assess to see if any injury was sustained. Start timing the seizure. Make sure there are no objects in the area that can cause the person injury. Stay by the person even after the seizure ends. They may be upset or confused, so show compassion and stay by their side. If the seizures continue to repeat or last more than five minutes, call for medical help. Testing such as an EEG is used to detect any abnormal brain activity that can take place during a seizure. An MRI can be used to locate any specific area of the brain being affected and if any scar tissue or trauma to the brain is present. Anti-seizure medications are the most common and effective treatment to control seizure activity. For people who develop drug-resistant epilepsy, the keto diet, a high-fat, low-carb diet, can help reduce and control seizure activity. Devices such as a vagus nerve stimulator can reduce seizure activity by sending electrical impulses to the brain. To learn more about what clonic seizures are, please check out the resources used in our presentation today.
Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our other social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.